Hello friends, today I want to discuss with you all COVID and heart trouble. COVID and heart attack. You know, there has been changes in the approach by the health workers to a problem of heart attack and there has been change in the attitude by the patients after COVID has come towards the suspicion of heart attack. Well, let me tell you, any man who is in the late 50s or early 50s even gets unexplained chest discomfort in the middle of the night. Unless proved otherwise, we suspect that this could be a heart problem. And our advice is that he should immediately contact the nearest hospital without wasting any time. You know, 50% of the patients who have a heart problem or heart attack do not reach you in the hospital. So this is very, very important. And the first one hour is extremely important because the mortality is very high in the first one hour and any treatment offered to him in an appropriate time, the golden hour, which we call it, is the first one hour, saves the life. Now, after COVID has come, the attitudes of the patient, patients have changed. What has happened? Before they go to the hospital, they hesitate because they are worried about COVID. And they have not very strong inclination that this could be a heart problem and I must go to the hospital as early as possible. Well, this I think is not correct. COVID itself can sometimes mimic heart attack, sometimes. And a heart attack is not protected by COVID. It is going to take its own toll. So therefore, don't worry about COVID. Go to the nearest hospital as early as you can without wasting time, even at the cost of crying wolf. Never mind. Now, see uh, the treatment in the heart ailments is related to the time. If you are closer to the first hour, which we call it as a golden hour, not only the survival rate is better, but the recovery is also more or less complete. So much so that the people who receive treatment in the first hour of heart attack, at the three months of time, sizable number of the patients will not show any signs of heart attack at all. Whenever the patient has an acute heart attack, my priority is to take him onto the catheterization laboratory table to offer him angioplasty as early as possible. Now, having been preoccupied also with the problem of COVID, and protecting the health workers from the infection of COVID, the transmission of COVID from patient to health, health workers, the policy has been changed a little bit. Stable patients receive blood busting medications. Serious patients are taken off straight onto the table. There, we take him as a COVID suspect. He may be COVID positive, he may be COVID negative, but his situation demands that I put a quick action, take him to the cath table and offer him an angioplasty. So this is very important. So friends, my message is this. Do not get very heavily preoccupied with the COVID. Go to the nearest hospital, even if there is a suspicion of heart attack, or actually, even if you find that the symptoms are very mild, there may still be a problem associated with heart. And then, uh, there the let doctor decide. Two, that, um, doctor will find out whether you have only COVID or whether you have only heart attack or COVID and heart attack both together. The appropriate treatment will be given to you both for COVID and heart attack if that is so or only heart attack if that is so. Thank you friends.